What are you doing here? It's Christmas Eve. You shouldn't be here today. Well, I guess we should make a video then, eh? Let's go to the intro. Hello everybody and welcome back to WA UK. I bet you're wondering what's going on. All these different things happening, namely Apollo. Right, well Land Rover's not been well for a while now. Um, it's been over pressurising its water system. Can't quite seem to figure out what's going on with it. Uh, I've taken the thermostat out, I've put the thermostat in, I've checked all the hoses, the new hoses that I put on it, and I can't quite figure it out. Uh, in the back of the Polo, I have a water pump, which I'm hoping to do over the next couple of days. I'm off till the 3rd now, the 3rd of January. Today, just for the record, is the 24th of December. Um, so in this holiday period, I'm going to try and strip the water pump off, put a new water pump on, another thermostat, and see if we can find out why it's over pressurising. Everything seems to be pointing towards the head gasket, but without the visual symptoms. You know, there's no mucky, I call it custard, I don't know what the actual term is, but it's, it's the horrible custardy substance you get on top of your water um, when your head gasket's gone. Or in your oil when your head gasket's gone, you know, it's not dripping uh, water out of its exhaust, it's just over pressurising. Uh, I kind of want to say it's an air leak somewhere, it's sucking in air into the water system, but I don't know. But that kind of explains why we're in a borrowed car, uh, my father's Polo. Uh, it's a little tank, that thing. It just runs forever. It's been around the country seven times over. It's such a cracking little car. Anyway, let's get in the barn and I'll talk you through uh, what's been going on recently because I haven't made a video for the last few weeks. So everyone, this is why the majority of you are here. Want to know what's going on with this? Uh, I've got a few big plans. I took it to Camp Shaky this year and for the first time in it, I felt the cold, um, probably down to human error a little bit, but it was cold and it was windy um, and I kind of felt it a little bit. So what you saw in the intro, me measuring the top is for a few plans uh, that I've got coming your way um, for the trailer and hopefully it's going to inspire quite a lot of you. Um, basically I'm going to change the way the roof rack works. Um, it's going to change and there's going to be a little bit of storage up there. I'm also going to change the way the awning works. It's going to have sides, it's going to have a hole for the chimney, it's going to be a hot tent on wheels basically, uh, which I'm really excited about. I'm also going to change the kitchen which I've mentioned in various other videos and I'm going to change all the inside as well. Uh, I've, been, I've been brainstorming and uh, basically I'm going to rip out the interior and, st and start again, start afresh. But none of that can happen until the Land Rover is fixed. So January, well, these next coming few weeks, uh, it's going to be operation, strip the Land Rover to bits and, and find out what's wrong with it. If it's the head gasket, then so be it. We're going to put a head gasket in it. Uh, we'll, we'll recondition the head while we're at it and get it done properly. It's going to be no, no corners cut here, trust me. Um, and then we're going to go from there. Um, as well as that, we're going to um, expand the genre on the channel a little bit. Um, Come late spring, maybe late spring, very early summer. I'm, I'm hoping to get out there and either do some wild camping or do some more localized um, tarp camping, hammock camping, small tent camping, um, uh, and just just experience a little bit more. Yes, I love the trailer and I love going um, to campsites and stuff with it. But let's face it, I can't just tow that with my Land Rover into a random field and go into a random wood and just settle down and, and camp down for the night. You're going to see it coming. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some, some more little localised stuff, which is going to... I'm quite excited about, it, to be honest. Uh, hoping to do a bit of shooting on the channel. Um, maybe from the fields to the plate kind of thing, field to fork kind of thing. Uh, a wood pigeon rabbit, things like that. Um, let me know how you feel about that, because I know YouTube kind of frowns upon it a little bit. They don't like anything to do with guns. But let me know how you think. I mean, if you want to see it, I mean, sod YouTube, I don't care about them. And um, that's about it. So um, I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody. I'm almost a year old now, not physically, obviously. The channel is almost a year old. It started in January uh, of this year. 
and um, you know I'm, I'm, I'm almost on 500 subscribers which is amazing for a first year um, I think last time I checked I was on 490 which is brilliant I can't thank you all enough for, for standing by me I mean I've been a bit sporadic on my videos I was hoping to launch one a month and I think I'm on 22 so it's just under two a month I've been doing which is which is more than I imagined but it's because of your support and you lot watching the videos and your feedback and your comments that I keep them coming um, the moment all that stops I suppose I'll stop and I'll, I'll just do it all off camera it does add a lot of time. I've got nothing but respect for people who make videos because it takes a lot of, you know, even this is going to take me a few hours to edit and upload. And, and I'm, I've actually been filming for about an hour because I've done about six takes. So none of it's ever straightforward. Um, so thank you. Thank you all very sincerely. Um, as I say, keep your eyes on my channel. It's going to hopefully grow a little bit bigger next year. We're going to diversify a little bit and, get, and, and do a few more um, exciting things, things I'm interested in, things I hope you guys are interested in. And um, yeah, yeah, thank you once again for standing by me. Season's greetings to everybody. If you don't celebrate Christmas, unlucky, I do. Um, so, so Merry Christmas. Take care, everybody. I'll see you next year.